So far, we've talked about two really demand type systems. It's really two ways of looking at uh, consumer demand at, at the individual level, which is the Marshallian approach, which looks at maximizing utility subject to a budget constraint, and the Hicksian approach that looks at uh, minimizing costs subject to a utility constraint. As we said, there are essentially two ways to look at the same problem. Um, one may seem a little more natural in some circumstances than the other, but because they are two ways of looking at the same problem, you're not limited to using the tool that corresponds to the problem the consumer is solving at the moment, right? Even if I had a consumer that was solving the classic utility maximization problem subject to the budget constraint, I can still look at it as an analyst through the eyes of the Hicksian framework, right? Just, there's nothing about that solution that, you know, prevents me from doing that. And for many problems, it turns out the Hicksian framework is going to prove very useful. It's a very, it, it, it has some advantages relative to the Marshallian framework and vice versa. And you'll see throughout the quarter, we will use both. And we will use whichever one seems to be the best for solving the problem at hand. Um, that's, that's a very important notion that you want to think about in economics. You're going to have a variety of things in your toolkit, and you want to try to use the one that's the most helpful for the problem you're trying to solve. Um, sometimes none of them are very helpful, and the problems are very difficult. Sometimes one really makes things very clear that would be very difficult to see the other way. Uh, in principle, you could always do it the other way. It just would be a lot harder sometimes. Okay. Um, now, as I mentioned last time, it's also convenient to know how to go back and forth between the Hicksian and the Marshallian frameworks. And we can really use, take advantage of, let's say we started with a solution to the consumer's problem. And probably easiest to think about this is a, is a Hicksian problem. So here's some utility level U of X1 and X2 equals some initial utility level U bar. And the consumer chooses some point, X1 star, X2 star. And you said, well, that's this, you know, so X1 star is equal to X1 Hicksian demand system of P1, P2, and U bar. Everybody would agree with that, right? That's the definition of the Hicksian demand system, that X1 star is the, is the quantity demanded according to the Hicksian demand curve when prices are P1 and P2, and utility level is U bar. Now, if I wanted to say, well, what does that correspond to in terms of a Marshallian world? The thing to realize is that this point here would be what? What would, what would the value of that point be? How would I write the mathematical number corresponding to that point? Well, remember, this line represents the minimum cost way of achieving that level of utility, right? That's how we found that line. So the cost level associated with this line must be C of P1, P2, and U bar. But this is not the dollar value. It's how much X1 I could buy. So that's that divided by P1. And this point here is C of P1, P2, U bar divided by P2. Everybody understand that? That is, because that's the minimum cost level, the dollar value of that cost line must correspond to the cost curve C of P1, P2, U bar. Everybody get that? So now let's think about it from a Marshallian world. If I gave you exactly that much income at these same prices, what point would you choose? I'm going to flip it around now. I'm going to give you exactly this much income which gives you this budget constraint, which implies you're going to maximize utility. Well, that's going to put me right back where I started, right at this point here. So this has to be equal to X1M of P1, P2, C of P1, P2, U bar. 
All right, that's the correspondence between the two systems. It says the Hicksian amount at a given level of utility is the same as the Marshallian demand curve if I give you exactly enough income to reach that level of utility. It's kind of obvious once you see it. It actually took people a long time to figure out how to think about it this way, but it, you know, like most things in life, is much easier when somebody's pointed it out to you. Anyway, this is, I, I think there's a word for this. I would call this kind of the Slutsky correspondence. This is, this is kind of the Slutsky equation. Everybody heard of the Slutsky equation? I mentioned it last time. This is kind of one level above the Slutsky equation, right? Because this is, Slutsky equation is about derivatives. It's about how are the derivatives of the Hicksian system linked to the derivatives of the Marshallian system. This is a more primitive relationship that talks about the levels. These two functions are equated in the following way. And remember, again, as I talked about last time, this is not an equilibrium condition. This is something that holds no matter what U bar I put in there, no matter what P1 I put in there, no matter what P2 I put in there, this holds for all P1 and P2 and U bars. Right? No matter what I had picked, this, this correspondence is going to work. Everybody understand? This, is going to, this relationship is going to hold in spite, you know, for all P1 and P2. Since it holds for all P1 and P2, I can take derivatives of this thing, and the derivatives on the two sides have to be the same, right? This function, let's fix U bar for the moment, which is a function of P1 and P2, has to be the same as that function. And therefore, the derivatives of this function have to be the same as the derivatives of that function. Okay? 